Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Well, here we are, we're building on our home security system with Samsung SmartThings, the hub, and today what we have is the Samsung SmartThings arrival sensor. So we're gonna take that device, we're gonna get it integrated, I'm gonna show you how to use it within your home security or your smart home monitoring solution here from Samsung. So, let's get to that. All right, well, let's start opening up our arrival sensor here. It's a pretty simple device, all said and done here. Essentially, what it's doing is when you get home or when someone gets home and they have this device near them, essentially, the connection with your Samsung Smart Things here basically picks up that that device is in the area, makes a connection, and then you know that someone's there. So, you know, what you can use that for numbers but essentially it allows you to trigger on or off security systems based on its presence in your home network so what you get inside the device here is just a quick start guide and then really the device itself there's not a lot here and that's okay because really we don't need a lot else here so you can see that essentially it's ready to go on a key chain or a key ring here you can you can do it that way what I actually did with this is I actually just stuck it in the console of my wife's vehicle so it'll just sit there and as that vehicle enters into our garage it's it's gonna trigger that she's home or when she's gone that that she's gone so contained within the device there you can see I just lifted that up there is a Panasonic CR2032, a three volt battery. And you can see in order to basically activate the device, you just have to pull that tab out there. So now let's go ahead, let's get this device set up. And I'm just gonna use obviously the Samsung SmartThings app here. So we're gonna head in there and we're gonna go to my home and I'm gonna go ahead and add a thing. We're gonna do a little scan here. And there's two devices showing up there, but really today we're just focused on the arrival sensor. So I'm going to call it my wife arrival. Later we'll change that to wife arrival sensor. Uh, but for now I'm just calling it wife arrival. So basically if the device is present, then I know my wife is here. And if it's not, well, I know she's not. So of course with all these devices you can go in you can make adjustments, you can add photos, you can change the name, you can do a number of things. This is the same as any of the other Samsung smart devices. You can also see the, your battery and then you can see the little recently section here in the application so you can see when it showed up and then you can also see when it leaves your network. So now moving on, we're gonna add it to the smart app. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm actually, I have two routines that were pre-created by Samsung, but you could add this to any routine you wanted. I'm gonna actually click the gear here on I'm back. And inside of that now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change how this is going to automatically trigger. So you can see I have someone arrive selected and it's based off of my iPhone but now I'm going to add my new arrival sensor in there. So if either of those devices show up in my home network here and make a connection with my Samsung SmartThings hub, then it's gonna automatically trigger. Now, moving on to the goodbye section. So when everyone leaves, I want that to trigger. So I'm turning that on again here, I'm adding that. And so now, those what those two little routines do is they actually engage or disengage my alarm system here at home. So this is my security smart app. So because I've gone ahead and I've added that arrival sensor to those two routines, I've essentially added that in to my security system. now. If you don't already have your security system already set up in your Samsung SmartThings app, I'm gonna put a video top right that shows you how to do that. And you can go ahead, you can 
watch that video as well and then you'll understand what I'm talking about here but for now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a smart app uh, a presence smart app so I went ahead into the smart app section and I'm just scrolling down now to presence and modes and I'm going to choose working from home and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that arrival sensor and basically if that arrival sensor is still in my home past 9 30 a.m then what I want to do is trigger one of my routines so in this case I'm going to choose the I'm back routine because that actually triggers my home security system to turn off so I'm just making sure that my alarm system is going to be off essentially when my wife is working from home which she does from time to time so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send a push notification get a text message there to myself and then I'm also going to choose which days of the week this is valid for so obviously that's only going to be the weekdays here now once I've done that I'm going to get that text message on any one of those days of the week when that arrival sensor is still at home and the other reason that's important is because my security system is going to be turned off I want to know about it and if my wife has just left her arrival sensor at home then I can go into the Samsung smart things app and simply turn that back to armed alright well there you go your arrival sensor is all integrated in your home security system there you know whenever you take that device and you leave the home now it's going to trigger on your security system here what you'll have to deal with really is if you forget that at home and and so that's why you know I've put it in my wife's vehicle there just to make sure that whenever she leaves with that vehicle that sensor is out of the home now obviously on the weekends we may take the same car we might take a different car or she might not take that car at all so you have to think about how you're going to deal with that maybe you're just going to trigger your security system on manually but you do have to think about that and you can use some of those other smart apps that samsung has on their system Either way, if you have a question about what you can do with that sensor, leave it in the comments below. And of course, I'd love to have you like or subscribe to our channel, of course. So until next time, we'll see you.